In our game, it's all about forging your very own legendary kingdom and basically rule the world. You have this huge, dynamic uh, life world map on which you fight alongside your alliance, your in-game family if you wish. You engage in deep politics and advanced diplomacy, you trade and you build these magnificent, beautiful cities, but in the end you strive to achieve the ultimate goal, territorial conquest and the ultimate price to become the emperor of the realm. The story of March of Empires starts in medieval Europe and the Middle East. Players can choose between three unique factions, the noble Highland Kings, the mighty Northern Sars, and the proud Desert Sultans. You can choose whichever faction fits your playstyle, or whichever you think looks the coolest. But ruling over your kingdom is just a fraction of what you can do in March of Empires. Players can explore the world and engage in epic tactical battles to crush enemies. Battle formations allow you to cunningly deploy your troops to gain a strategic advantage. By outwitting opponents, you can still crush them even if they outnumber your own forces. Players from different factions can gather under one banner and fight to establish dominance over the world. In our game, regions are controlled by regional capitals. Alliances can conquer this regional capital and by doing so establish huge kingdoms. Bear in mind you need to protect what is yours. United your forces stand, divided they fall. So how your alliance utilizes the diplomacy system to negotiate and coordinate with other alliances is vital. But when words fail, swords must be drawn to decide who is right. Alliance armies clash to bring hundreds of players fighting with thousands upon thousands of units on the world map. Alliances are greatly beneficial for the players and offer them choices. Do you want to become a war general, taskmaster or diplomat? and lead the Alliance to greatness. No matter what, the Alliance is there for you providing protection and both economy and military bonuses. It was really challenging, but also fun for the art team. We tried to escape the stereotypes of the genre. Basically our goal was uh, to break the cliche of the 2D mobile MMO game. That's why we ended up with 3D looking, modern and stylized world, which I believe will be appealing for the hardcore players, and also for a wider audience. Like what you see? Then join thousands of players right now in a world of war and intrigue and stake your claim to the throne.